right guys well i'm here on high rig in the lake district and i've got to say some of the views absolutely stunning i've got to be careful because i'm not quite at the top yet and i can see the light is going down rapidly uh I'll just hope i get to the top to get a sunset shot because uh, it could be amazing was there any cloud uh, coming up on the motorway it took me all the way to get here because of all the road works and that on the m6 terrible at the moment uh, but look at the views we've got uh, Grisdale Pike over there, we've got Skiddaw, Blencafra, and then round here we've got Clough Head. Yeah, and I think it is, it's getting, the light's looking lovely and it might go behind, uh, I think it goes down over there. Uh, as far as Blencafra is concerned, it goes off Blencafra at 10 past four or five past four. So I've got to get cracking, next time I see you I'll be at the top. Just to clarify what I meant there, I'm just going to show you two apps that I use when I'm planning, especially for going out and doing a sunrise or a sunset shoot. So this is the first one, it's called Peak Finder. The thing I like about both these apps is you can just use them on your mobile phone, so you don't need to be in front of a desktop or anything. And you can see there just what I've been showing you. I can see Blencafra, Cloughhead, and then behind there I can see Helvellyn. And, but you can also see on there you've got the the sun okay you've got the sun you've got the moon and we can change the time but we can see the sun if i'm on high rig the sun goes down at quarter past three 15 15 so as far as high rig is concerned the sun will not be on the top of high rig in fact i've just changed the date there and you can see that 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 sundown is changing now it's 15 uh, 29 we can also fly to Blancafra, so I'm going to, just going to press on there and I can see this little telescope and then I can pre press on the, the blue fly button at the bottom and it takes me to the Blees Fell on Blancafra. And I can see there it's 1602, so the sun is going to go down uh, as far as the top of Blancafra. There's going to be no light on the top of Blancafra at 1602, which probably coincides with sunset anyway because it being a high mountain. Just going back to high rig. And I'm also interested in going down that in that direction to see what's down there. Uh, so I'm going to just get the map up and I'm going to move my position. I'm going to find the pathway. And you can see there, I'm just trying to follow the pathway and just get down to the other end of the fell and then I can select that point and I can just get an idea of what I can see in different positions. So there we go, I can see Filmir there, uh, Helvellyn, Great How, and it tells me what I'm looking at, Raven Crag, um, Whiteside. Really useful app. Not only tells you just about the, the, the names of the mountains, but uh, it gives you a lot of information about the trajectory of the sun. Like that, I can see if I take a shot down there, the sun is gonna be in the shot. It's gonna be in the shot all day, really. Uh, this is the other app that I'm using. I can't really, use, well, I can use this in, in landscape, but it doesn't look as good. So I'm gonna leave it in this mode. This is TPE 3D. One thing I don't like about this, is it doesn't actually say high rig so this is high rig and i know it is there i'm going to drop a pin on that point there and then if i double tap on that it's going to take me down and land me down there i can see obviously i can see they are trying to try in landscape mode it's no good not for this so put it back in portrait and we can start playing around with the time and we can actually see the light as it is on the landscape and looking at 1537 and oh yeah so it gives me tells me everything i need to know really obviously it doesn't tell me about the weather that's the big unknown anything can happen with the weather so you might not get you might not get the light on the land like that at all um but if you get a decent sunset oh the if you've got blue sky, which, which you might not want anyway, but it, it does tell you the, the light, all things being equal, no clouds, what's happening with the light on the fells.
<laughs> no, I, I don't know. I'm the same. I've been Russian. Yeah, and you? Right, I've just got got this shot here, and I think it's called Tuit Tarn or Tuit Tarn. Just a patch of water down there, and then I've got the edge of Skidor and the curve of Blencaffer, and then I've got a distant darker fell in the distance, uh, and the clouds behind it, which don't look too bad. Um, not too sure they're catching a bit of foreground here, so I'm not too sure if I want that in my shot actually taking up the lower quarter of the shot so I might zoom in and and take another one put my polarizer on so I've got that polarizer the colors look amazing but it just looks even better with a polarizer on uh, I've got to remember I'm going to take another panorama in a minute and I need to take that polarizer off because uh, you can get that banding effect so I don't think it's called banding effect uh, when you patch it when you patch them together join them together so yeah, I'm gonna, I took this shot, it looks great. I'm not too sure about this bit with the, the light grass in the foreground. Uh, I'll show you what I'm looking at. And then I, I might zoom in again and take another shot. The light doesn't look as good now. Um, bit, bit of cloud there, but I'm, it's, uh, it's wispy cloud, so there's a good chance um, it's gonna look good again. Right guys, now I've returned to this little patch of water because uh, what I'm hoping is it, it's starting to light the, the sunset, it's starting to light up the clouds and it's going to reflect in this little pool of water. When Kafka's looking amazing, I'm just turning you around. So there's my Kafka, there's this little pool of water. So I've made sure I've not got my uh, polarizer on and the clouds are just starting to change colour next five ten minutes so hopefully I get the timing just right and I get a shot of Blencafra and I get some sort of cloud reflection in that water which would be amazing uh, I haven't had time to really frame it up very well uh, just seem to be panicking a lot panic a lot everything seems to be really rushed uh, trying trying to slow down and just think you'll get a shot <laughs> but yeah, if you don't get here on time you just run around like a hairless chicken or I do I should say I do so yeah I better stop recording now anyway and uh, watch what's going on
as well. I really enjoyed my time on High Rig. So amazing views for such an easy hike. Wayne Wright says that it can be done in 15 minutes by anyone who's full of the joys of spring. So yeah, it took me a little bit longer than that, but not too much longer, I like to think. There was some really, with the setting sun, there was some really vibrant colours, especially in the shot I'm going to show in a second, where we came down in blue hour. <coughs> Excuse me. And the red bracket, the vibrant colours of red bracket, really just stopped me in my tracks and I just had to get a shot. If you liked any of the shots or any of the video, please give us a like. It would be really helpful. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.